When I was a small boy, I tried for a game of hunting. For sport, you see. The grown men played at it. And I, Asher, would of course be a young man. And that young man would be a grown man. But for then, I was still a small boy. And yet I decided to try my hand at the game. I was a natural. I greased a hind through the stomach in a single shot, dropping her to the forest floor. My father and uncles all cheered, clapping me on the back and on the shoulders. And then we heard a noise. Not an angry male deer or mourning female one. They had all run away when the cheering started. It was the hind. She was still alive. It hadn't occurred to me. Nobody else was surprised. My father whistled to his father, and a handsome iron knife was passed to me. Finish it off, boy, he told me. No one else was surprised. I hadn't seen this coming. The game stopped when I realized I was playing with someone else's life. It seemed foolish to say, but such is the ways of a child. They do not know what they play with until it confronts them like a child crushing ants, never being able to empathize with an ant. What if the gods were so inconceivable we could not see their face or even recognize them as our shape? What if they were so much greater than we thought and that most of us are only spared because we are so low before their notice we don't even register? The cosmic horror of it echoed in a thunderclap like my head. That is what I had done to this deer. It had never seen a human before. Never seen anything that walks on two legs and uses its other limbs to hold weapons. It didn't grow antlers, it was a hind. It had never known fighting. It was like I had shot a naive child, like shooting an infant in its crib. There was no turning back now. Even if the deer could be saved, I had no knowledge of how to. And no one that did would bother wasting their time. My action had caused her to suffer, so my action must end it. I drove the knife through her neck, and it unleashed the noise. That noise was the sound of something dying, something helpless and alone, knowing it would be nothing but a plate of meat soon. I think of it often now. For that is how I feel most days. Ready to unleash a noise, knowing that someday I will be food. Most of the days. Some of the days I imagine that this is what the god must feel. Looking at a herd of mindless things walking on two legs. Distractible. Foolish. Simple. Some days I am the ant, confused by a terror which magnitude I cannot understand or accept. I don't know why the dead begin to walk, only that they do. I ring my bell, I write my notes, and I try to go on living. The last few days, though, I am the hunter, putting down the helpless whose suffering must end. I only hope that I will never be the deer. Perhaps, though, there is mercy in being the deer. Someone will come to kill you, whereas I would just have to bleed out. It is still summer. I am still 16. And for now, I am still Asher. May the gods be with me. On the other hand, perhaps it is far better 